All right, everybody, welcome back for another video. And I've had a couple people in the comments mention that they like when I go over some TA. So I appreciate that. And, you know, I would like to continue to do more. You know, up to this point, there just hasn't really been a need besides a few in the, here and there charts. Um, but as we move into the bull market, um, you know, understanding the principles of basic TA will be very ben beneficial to anybody who. Um, intends to trade at all, you know, in and out of the markets and so on, but also to, to be able to um, you know, get a feel for when we're getting close to maybe a top, a short term top. So, uh, glad to get into more of it. Um, so, first and foremost, looking at Bitcoin, as you can see, it, you know, we had like this full pennant forming uh, and did break out. I expect, like I said, I mean, still have the same view on Bitcoin. Um, and I think that we'll probably test all time high. Um, I just, I don't think we're going to break it and sustain it this year. I think it's going to be, you know, there's going to be some resistance there at the 20,000 area. So, um, you know, I could see maybe one more move up this year and some consolidation, right? kind of basically right where we're at now. In the you know sixteen to eighteen thousand area, somewhere in there, could be wrong as always. But you know what? Um, I just don't see an all-time high made this year. All right. So another thing I wanted to talk about is XRP once again um, because you know it is my largest holding, and I do talk about XRP a lot on this channel. Um, I just don't do TA with XRP per se because. You know, my personal beliefs is I don't think that the chart and the price moves organically. I think XRP, um, the price moves by design. That's my personal opinion. Uh, I think it's designed to be a stable coin. Um, I think that there's no coincidence that every time it goes up, it goes up in a straight line. Um, to me, that looks almost like they're trying it out to see how they can move the price. Uh, I don't care what anyone says. You can't find a chart in all of crypto and maybe all of the stock market that moves like XRP. It goes up in a straight line or it trades relatively sideways. And you can see that just by glancing at this chart. So, but anyway, I still think, um, you know, it looks like we could, right, you know, cross on the moving averages, some stability on this downtrend that was broken, all of that looks bullish. Um, but honestly, I don't think it's going to go up anytime soon. I think XRP is going to have its move first quarter next year sometime. Maybe March, April, even time frame. Um, I mean, you can see it's crazy how repetitive it is. But once again, it looks like we are about right here. Let me move this circle a little for you guys. I think we're about right here in the cycle. I mean, almost identical, right? Back here, we had basically this massive head and shoulders uh, broke above the downtrend, but then failed to see any momentum continuation up. And then it just drug along um, as Bitcoin was making, you know, getting close to making new all-time highs at the time. Now, here we are, history repeating itself once again. Uh, you know, I think that over the next few months, XRP is going to continue to drag through the mud. I think Bitcoin is going to continue to perform well. Uh, same with Ethereum. I think Ethereum will perform well. Um, but then all of a sudden, XRP is going to catch people off guard and it's going to go up like a rocket. Like, that's what it does. So uh, until it proves me otherwise, um, that's my take on XRP. So Also, you can see it even in the XRP Bitcoin chart. I mean, this thing just looks dead right now. No signs of momentum. Um, and I can see it just continue down still. Uh, you know, before the the bottom was a lot lower to uh, coming out of the last bear market, right? The bottom is about right there, so we could continue down more in XRP. Um, as for the other altcoins, I think that Ethereum is going to take off soon, and I think it will basically drag everything else up with it. 
as far as altcoins and that besides xrp and that coincides perfectly with this uh dominance chart i think we have a uh, a bottom that was just put in here as well um you know, bitcoin could have one more push but i think that will get reversed by an even greater push from ethereum and everything in the ethereum ecosystem all right and then follow that up with a uh, XRP is the last to move, but the most explosive. That's my take. Um, and then taking a look at the Bitcoin mining stocks too. These are going to explode. You know, I'm going to keep telling people about these because uh, I think no one pays attention to them. But this is one of the best opportunities in crypto, in my opinion. Uh, so this is Riot first and foremost, uh, as you can see here with Riot, it's consolidating, kind of got this uh, you know, triangle formation once again. I think it will stay inside here. You know, if Bitcoin gets a pump, if it finally, if and when it finally breaks out of all this uh, consolidation, I think we see an easy move up to the $6 area. And then, you know, early into next year with Bitcoin making new all-time highs, I can see Riot easily in the first quarter pushing $10. All right, personal opinion there. And then Mara, uh, Marathon Patent Group's doing almost the same exact thing, right? We got some consolidation here, almost like a uh, descending wedge forming. And, you know, there's not much in the way at all for price action for Marathon Patent. You know, I think once we get above this, uh, short term high for 2020, which was around what, 525. Once we break that, I mean, this could be off to the races. I mean, easily, you know, get above that $5 mark, hold some stability above it. Um, I think you can see a quick push to where we were at in uh, 2017 that run all the way up to 40 bucks. I mean, look, it literally went from $5 to 40 and see what we got here. A, a day <laughs> was that one day yeah i mean this is the four hour chart so we went from five dollars to 40 in about 12 hours <laughs> so anything is possible guys just stay patient um hang in there and your patience will be rewarded all right now i want to move on to some news so, um, first and foremost, I saw this article talking about the World Economic Forum calls blockchain key to sustainable digital finance. I wanted to talk about this because I've talked about the World Economic Forum a lot. I've showed you their Great Reset agenda. Uh, if you haven't seen that on their website, they have a chart literally showing their Great Reset. And part of it is uh, blockchain, digital identity, uh, and so it's going to be digital currency. All right, we'll see how it all unfolds, but it's very obvious. So, a few key points in this article, though. The World Economic Forum believes blockchain represents a core element of sustainable digital finance. Uh, so, it combines emerging technology with environmentally conscious business models. So, very important, right? They keep emphasizing environmentally conscious business sustainable digital finance all right these words are in there for a reason right we believe that sustainable digital finance will play an essential role in efficiently channeling this capital to fuel innovation growth and job creation at the same time supporting the transition to a sustainable low carbon economy hmm Sounds like they keep taking shots at proof of work, and I don't think it could be any more obvious. Right, but these are the guys that control the world. Um, they decide what happens, essentially, and they keep emphasizing sustainable future and low carbon economy. So, as I said, I'm bullish on Bitcoin into the next year. Uh, long term, I'm not sure um, because of things like this. What will happen when we move to this carbon friendly environment? And then if you, you know, they put the link to this article in the Coin Telegraph article to the actual report they're referring. 
And then here, once again, the title of the article, how sustainable digital finance can unlock a low carbon economy. So sounds like they're trying to tell us what's going to happen in the future. Next up, one of the world's top banks issues bonds that can be bought with Bitcoin. China Construction Bank has used blockchain technology, technology to issue the first tranche of a planned $3 billion worth of debt. How exciting. So you can spend your crypto to buy government debt. Amazing, right? Who's going to give up their Bitcoin for some Chinese government uh, banking bonds? Not me. Uh, <laughs> just thought that was funny. All right, next one. Be careful, guys. U.S. law firm says IRS is coming after Coinbase users who evade taxes. The tax law office of David W. Blassing, a boutique Californian tax firm, has issued a public release warning investors that the United States Internal Revenue Service is getting serious with Coinbase users. Wanted to point this out because be careful. They're watching you. SEC should declare XRP a security, says Peter Brandt. Of course, he did. Veteran trader and chart analyst Peter Brandt is the latest figure in the cryptocurrency community to dispute the regulatory status of XRP. While Ripple is trying hard to distinguish itself from XRP, the firm still owns a significant amount of the currency. According to official records, Ripple owned 60 billion XRP in July 2018, 55 billion of which was in escrow accounts. The company reportedly owns more than half of the total supply of XRP. So it's kind of misleading once again. Um, so the XRP, they do have XRP in escrow. They have about 55 billion in escrow-ish. Um, but they have created the XRP Ledger Foundation. So XRP is the XRP Ledger is officially a separate entity from Ripple uh, from a business standpoint. And also this Peter Brandt guy is a through and through Bitcoin maximalist. I mean, he said it himself. I am a Bitcoin maximalist as long as the trend is up. I am an altcoin minimalist at all times. We're in, when there is a good chart, buy signal in non-BTC macro caps, I will buy with close stop. So, made it very obvious and apparent that he is a Bitcoin maximalist. Uh, of course, he wants XRP to be declared a security. It's not going to happen. Um, what former chairman of the CFTC and so on have openly said XRP is not a security. Uh, I don't think they've given regulatory clarity on XRP on purpose. I also think that XRP has the escrow and kept a fair share of XRP on purpose um, because there is a future plan with all of it. They're not going to openly tell us about their global takeover plan and all of that good stuff. Um, but there's a reason why they're still holding it. They've even said themselves that they think that they could be a lender of last resort. Um, so uh, look at that, on-demand liquidity. Why do they call it that? Maybe so at a certain point when liquidity is needed, they can be a lender of last resort. So uh, don't let guys like Peter Brent steer you in the wrong direction. Uh, XRP is a better investment opportunity in my own opinion not financial advice over the next few years i think it's going to outperform bitcoin dramatically all right but once again that about wraps it up as always please like and subscribe share with your friends and family and stay tuned for the next one thanks what is a cashless society? What does it actually mean in a literal or high level sense? Money will become like these, relics of a different age. And will only be found in places like this. In other words, hard cash will disappear. It will become electronic, transferred by things like these. Then Tracy is in Beijing to show us what a nearly cashless society actually looks like. Then, good morning. Mobile payment transactions in China reached a cumulative total of 277.4 trillion RMB in 2018.
ranking number one in the world, according to the recently released statistical report on internet development in China. As of June 2019, online payment users in the country reached 633 million. The cashless society is now approaching. When's the last time you paid with cash? Well, chances are cash has taken a back seat to the plastic in your wallet and smartphone pay apps. Denver 7's Ryan Luby explains the digital pay revolution and why not everyone is on board. The cashless society, the cashless society, the cashless society. The cashless society is now approaching. The cashless society.